Okay. So let's clear some up, y'all. Whatever Shamar texts Tangie or what, however it went down when he told when he texts Tangie. I text Tangie as a friend, let her know, like, calm down. You trying to see me what Shamar said. I know what Shamar said. I'm thinking that you saying like I'm thinking that he called that you said he called you a bitch or something. So when I kept saying what he called you, because I'm thinking how you said it to me, you said I can't fuck with him because what he called you. You never said anything about what the text was, you kept sending the text messages or what he said, but I wasn't paying attention to that. I was paying attention to what you said he called you something. So get back into what I was saying was, you sent right here to my some, um, or uh, whatever you showing the text message. Y'all, she not telling y'all the whole story. Do y'all know that this girl called, the motherfucker, what the people call is? Uh, the, the people that the, call. Pe the motherfucker, hum the people that call, you know, when you when you say you want to hurt yourself, she don't call them motherfucker. People got them calling from my phone. So guess, so, Thank God Shamar got to call me and Shamar told me to be quiet. And I'm like, what's wrong, friend? He was like, these people trying to ask me, these people trying to ask me all these questions about if I'm gonna hurt myself. Shout out I was like, hold on, girl. They said, ask Shamar Page. No, he good, he good. He, they can us. They'll come on here. Um, so I told him, I said, I said, I'm gonna be real with you. I said, I said, why the fuck? I said, why the fuck she got them calling? Got, I said, why the fuck she got these people calling your motherfucking phone? Ain't nobody gonna hurt. He ain't gonna hurt. Did I set that phone? Yeah. I said that phone. I, I said, let me tell you something. Like, I said, I said, that whole over there delusional. Something really wrong with that hoe. That hoe got a lot of things on her mind. So get what? She calling y'all for the wrong reason. She, she should have been calling her for her. I said, that whole delulu. That whole thing, everybody, her friend, everybody, that hoe got real problems in real life that she gotta handle. And she, she she's afraid to handle her own problems. So she trying to throw her problems on Shamar and try to call people on Shamar so that it can make it like Shamar trying to kill herself. When that girl really got something on her mind for real, she got a lot on her mind that she didn't worry about. Why she trying to why she trying to take care of him and baby him? She got too much on her mind, and that's what I told them. She, so I call her. I say, Tangi. I say, Tangi. Um, why you calling folks with Shamar? Like, you no, know, we we get to talk. We talk. I'm talking really hard. I say, why the fuck you calling folks? Like, why the fuck you calling folks uh, on Shamar? Oh, cause he's, you know, she's telling her, so Shamar said, shut up, bitch. Girl, she told Shamar, she told Shamar she gonna have people come to my motherfucking house while I lay my head at y'all. She told, that's what made me get started. And that's what made her got into it. She told, is I'm lying, Shamar? But my thing, you know, when she was on the truck, when I was, you know what I'm saying, she had, like, she had a motherfucking location. Tell her, like, oh, <laughs> I know where you at right now. I said, no, the fuck you don't. Cause you don't even know, you don't even got my motherfucking location. She said, oh, she gonna pay to, oh, uh, she gonna pay Aaron to fight me. She talking about she gonna uh, she gonna tell Aaron this and tell Aaron that. First of all, I'm not scared of motherfucking Aaron Ho. I said what the fuck I motherfucker said. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, and this when, when call my teeth, you probably my motherfucking friend. You gonna tell Shamar on the phone while we in the car to my son. And then she gonna lie and say she she didn't say it. Bitch, I heard you say because when you said I called the veto and I told the veto if you come to my house I'm gonna give you what you want, bitch. And I told it off for anybody. And if I'm lying tomorrow, did I call the veto? Yep. I said if you had call your friend Tangie, because if, if she thinks she'll come to my house, bitch, I'm gonna show her. I'm gonna show her, and I swear to God, and she called whoever she want to call. She told Shamar on the phone while I was on speaker that she gonna call everybody in the red zone and they gonna come to my motherfucking house, and that's what she told Shamar. Period, point blank. When you said you was coming to my she motherfucking was house. Us. She was threatening us. When you told me, I, I, I was your friend. I ain't said nothing wrong with you. Man, you had a conversation. When you told me, when you said it was about Shamar, I said, calm down, sleep on it. When you told Shamar, I don't give a fuck how serious you and Shamar is. This is what you, between you and Shamar. But when you told Shamar, you gonna goddamn have some people come to my motherfucking house where I lay my head at, and you was, you was sitting right up crying and bitching when Eric shot your motherfucking car up, supposedly? Huh? You had a whole motherfucking crying tour because Eric shot your car up. But you shouldn't be running your motherfucking mouth. That was real street. That's that was, that, that's some real shit right there. If you want to play these street games, you got to deal with what, what the consequence in these street games. You want to talk shit to Eric, he pulled up and shot your goddamn car. That was consequence. But he should never did that shit. But if you tell people you gonna put up in my shit, oh girl, you gonna you 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 gonna you you gonna, you gonna be good in life. I don't play that. Don't 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 disrespect me like this. Whatever you and Shamar got going on, that's between you and Shamar. Talk about she got paid people. Y'all don't hold on, Shamar. Y'all tomorrow don't put them myself. Y'all tomorrow don't put yourself into none of this shit. I don't have nothing to do with none of this shit. But when a person said they gonna put up in my house, y'all, that's totally disrespectful. Why do you feel comfortable to think you're gonna put up in my house with people? Well, I'm laying my head in. I don't give a fuck Shamar. If Shamar here with me right now, you could have kept that to when you meet Shamar or whatever. Y'all gonna meet at Oakland City, y'all can meet at Lakewood, y'all can meet wherever y'all gonna meet at fight Shamar. But at the end of the day, when he had my shit, respect my shit, period point blank. And if you if you can't respect my shit, then it's gonna be a problem. 
This why I lay my fucking head at the end of the day. So for you to feel comfortable to test tomorrow, you're going to prove at my motherfucking house? Bitch, it's a problem. It's a problem. And then every time I try to talk, she not letting me talk. She want to talk over me. And then she got, she got these supporters on the phone to myself. Like, we give a fuck who she got on the phone. Bitch, you can have 25 supporters on that motherfucking phone. I don't give a red ass. Yo, I say like she just, mm -mm. The fuck? I don't play that shit. Don't come to my house. Whatever you got to reason with Shamar, you, you, whenever y'all find each other, see each other, that's when y'all handle that out. But don't come to my house while I leave my head in. She talking about she talking about somebody that she don't need? Girl, she said a lot of shit on the phone. Now she want to play her innocent role showing my text messages. She can show my text messages. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Let her keep showing it. I was cool with Tanja. I did. I used to be a host chilling. I took her with my family. I'd eat or where we went. She was a cool little person. But bitch, after she don't talk to these photos, she gonna have she, she gonna come to my house with some people. Oh girl, that's done. We done, boo. You'll never get around me again. You'll never be around me again. Cause I don't play that in. Cause I would never I never, I never have people come to your house. Because I know you got kids there. So for you to come to my try to try to test them, are you gonna come to my shit? Well, I lay my head at that's a problem. She threatened me. You threaten him. And then you're gonna play this role and call the motherfucking um uh, suicide hotline. You should be calling for your ass. Cause you got a lot of problems that you need to fix on. First, learn how to be a real friend. Second of all, learn how to be real to yourself. Cause you so in delusional or so, your mind all everywhere. You don't even know where you come to go on, girl. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter if she talking about me bad. The, the simple fact of that, she tried me, y'all. She told Shamar, you keep talking, bitch. I'ma have everybody. I'm gonna have everybody in the red zone to come pull up it. Come pull up where you lay your, you lay your head at tonight. Is I'm lying, bitch? Nope. Is I'm lying? Nope. She told she Shamar, can't. you keep she talking, bitch. You me. keep talking, bitch. And I'm going to I'm gonna have to everybody in, in the red zone to pull up where you laying at right now. And bitch, he laying at my house. So bitch, you talking about me. So what's up? Because <laughs> yeah, when, when they start yeah. shooting, when they start shooting, they not trying to find who Shamar is. They going to shoot the whole apartment up. And guess what? I might be the one to get hit. Because guess what? I might be getting hit because I ain't, this ain't got nothing to do with me. But guess what? When you sit all the people to, when you sit all the red zone people to my house, right? They not only coming to shoot Shamar, they coming to shoot through this motherfucker door. So guess what? Whoever get motherfucking hit, that's who get hit. And they don't give a fuck. Period. They not, ain't no, don't no bullets say Shamarco. Don't no bullets say we gonna get Shamar. Them bullet, them bullets saying whoever in that bitch, we gonna get them teared down. That's what them bullets saying. So for you to even say some shit like that, they go to show you what type of, you was never Shamar friend. Cause what 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 person get this mad and one time you wanna get him, you gonna kill him and you gonna shoot him and you gonna get somebody to raise all the car shoot us. Up. I'm going straight to the body so hot ass. She got she got bitch. You creating me ho? You really stand up here and say you so She never get she gave Shamar 2800 that the motherfucking people booked him for. She never paid Shamar all her money for real. She pay, she bought his shoes or whatever, but she never paid for Shamar. That did they book you? Did you have to pay for your hotel with your money? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I had to pay for my flight. His flight, I'm talking about the hotel you was in for the week, with the week or so. Yeah. You had to pay for your own hotel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tanja, Tanja been told me she made you pay. See, we're going to, like, come on now. I am i don't do stuff. Tanja, been Tanja told me straight up, oh, why the fuck I would, why? she said, why the fuck would I pay that shit? She said, why the fuck I would pay for, she said, why the fuck would I pay for that shit? And he going to be up there trying to get some dick. That's what she told me. But me and you were talking like this, so it wasn't no reason for me to tell you what she said. Because y'all was right. cool. And, I ain't, and I'm not the type of bitch that's hard to break up friendships. But come on now, girl. You, you like you weird, girl. This is way. That's why I change your relationship with people because I like the way how you and Tommy is. Nah, but it's simple fact. She talking about she gonna pay somebody to come fight. Oh, uh, uh, she gonna pay somebody to come uh, beat me over. I'm not in y'all. What, what? Hold on, Shamar. I know you're trying to talk, friend. I'm not in it to this day, but what I don't appreciate her saying is she gonna have people come to my motherfucking house. Period. Point blank. 
Ain't nowhere Shamar don't want to go nowhere else. He want to stay here. So guess what? As a respect, if you my friend, Tangy, quote unquote, you supposed to be my friend, you should respect me enough. You knew Shamar was in my house because when I called you on speaker, Shamar was right there next to me. You knew he was in my house. So when you said it, you said it, you said that in some mean for shit like, oh, don't worry because I get it because I have some niggas in the red flag come come over come over to, to where you where you laying it. Bitch, you said that because you knew I was on the phone. Remind y'all, I called her from my phone. So she knew Shamar, she knew Shamar was with me because Shamar told Shamar would chop her ass off. Come on now. Let's be real. He didn't tell her to pull up. He did not tell Tangie to pull up. He did not tell Tangie to pull up. We was on the phone with her. I was next to him the whole time. He did not tell Tangie to pull up. He was not telling her to pull up. I promise you, I was sitting next to him. He was not telling her to pull up. She said this. She said, I'm tired of motherfuckers playing with me. I'm finna, I'm finna call everybody in the motherfucking red zone. And I'm finna call, I'm finna call when you let your motherfucking head in. And it's gonna be a problem. And I hung up the phone. I called her back. It went to voicemail. I called her back again. It went to voicemail. Bitch, you think I'm lying? I'm checking the phone. I called her two times with a voicemail. They don't make me call my friend Davida. I said, Davida, get your ass up. She said, what's going on, friend? I said, you better go get your homegirl attention. Because if she think you're going to put my shit, they'll get a problem. They're going to have a funeral home ready, ready for them hoes. I swear to God. And that's what Davida said. I'm going to call her. Let me call you back. Boy, I ain't got a lot about that. That's the only reason why I got in. Because me and Tangie was just cool. We were just talking. But I don't appreciate how she great me saying that she gonna get somebody, she gonna pay somebody to do this, then it's third to me. And she uh when Shamar when Shamar told her to pull up, Shamar was not with me at that time. Shamar was not with me at that time. When Shamar told her to pull up, that, that was way before he got to my house. That was like two hours before he got to my house. I was still at my auntie's house in Conyers. So when he thing, so when yeah. hold on. So when he went so I'm sorry, sister. I'm sorry, sister. Cause I'm pissed, you know I'm mad, so I'll be talking fast. Right. So when I, when he when he told her to pull up, that's what between him and her. But when we got on the phone and I was talking to her and we was talking, she heard my voice. She heard my voice clearly when I was talking. I was like, Tim, why did you call them people on her? She said, da 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 Shamar said, fuck you, bitch. Da -da -da. She said, fuck you, bitch. Don't worry, bitch. I and then that's when she started talking. She's going to have to put up my shit while I lay my head in. At the end of the day, whatever her Shamar got going on, if they was going to put up on each other, that was way before I got around Shamar. But go ahead. But then she talking about she got to pay somebody to do this and that. My thing is, first of all, you're correcting me. Okay? You already correcting me. You said you got to pay, you got to pay Eric to do this and his third. That's another great. Eric said he was going to kill me. That's the great. Okay? So with that being said, I'm pressing charge on both y'all. Because y'all is not going to keep fucking with me. <laughs> That's what I. That's what y'all not finna do. You not finna keep fucking with me. He talked about. He talked about my mama. He told me I deserve to die with my dead mama. That's what he said. Yeah. What else? I don't play those type of games. Don't sit up here and keep coming for me. I just. You I just. Out that you made six k off of me. You not even talking about everybody. You know, but Tasha. Bitch, you're next. You're going to jail, ho. You want to sit up here and want to got them, uh, you, you want to sit up here and want to got them, call the police on uh, air and do all this other shit, bitch. You bitch. I'm not, y'all, like I said before, I don't give a fuck what Tangent Shamar got going on. My problem is, hold on, get my filter back. My problem is, hold on. My problem, I'm gonna get out the camera, though. My face photo. My problem is I'm not worried about what her Shamar got going on because I know how her Shamar is. My problem is you tell you tell you telling Shamar on live on speaker that you're gonna have people people in front of the red, red, whatever the red, whatever, the red flag, the red hood, the red spot. You gonna have them folks come when he lands. The red circle where he, you gonna you gonna call them and you're gonna have them come to my house and you on the way to come to my come to where I lay my head. That's all I'm talking about. And you did say that, boo. I wouldn't be pissed off about you if you wouldn't say that. I would let you and Shamar keep arguing. You said that. You did. So don't try to switch it up like you didn't say it. You did, motherfucker, say it. And that's all I got to say. I ain't got to keep explaining myself to nobody. Because she said it. But anybody pull up at my house, 